Good afternoon, Ken Kratz. It's your activist buddy, Sean Atwood, over here in London. Millions of people around the world are celebrating right now the imminent freedom of Brendan Dassey. Except for you, that is, Ken Kratz. According to the media, you're presently unavailable for comment. I wonder why that is. Is that because you took the manipulated, coerced testimony of a 16-year-old mentally challenged lad, Brendan Dassey, and took that and put it into a press conference where you gave little tiny details to fool the public into thinking Brendan Dassey and Stephen Avery had murdered, tortured and raped Teresa Halbach? Kratz! You need to crawl out of the dark hole you're hiding in right now and give us a response. Or are you too busy sexually texting abused women? Or have you run out of abused women to stalk? Kratz, man up, admit it's all over. The federal judge has let your buddy Len Kaczynski off the hook. But we're coming after you, Kratz. You're not going to get off so easily. You were the ringmaster in this circus of media manipulation. You sent two men to prison for 10 years now who are innocent and you're going to be held accountable. We're going to see you in prison one of these days, Kratz. And then we can celebrate just as much as we're celebrating this weekend because your case got overturned for Brendan Dassey and Stephen Avery is going to be next. Please respond, Mr. Kratz. You once called me a douchebag. Yeah, well, who's the douchebag now? Cheers from London. Have a nice day now.